Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an ebook using Vista Create or Crelo and then uh, be able to uh, give out that ebook or even sell it on some digital platforms where you sell uh, digital stuff. If you are new here, my name is Steve from stevenjohnsy.com. I create weekly videos that will help you learn something new, something that can help you grow or even um, help you uh, earn some extra income. I hope you will be able to learn uh, that today. If you haven't done that yet, please subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post a new video. I really, really appreciate that. But as you can see, I'm on uh, Vista Create or Crelo it used to be called Crelo, so they merged Crelo with uh, Vista. Now they call it uh, Vista Create. So the first thing that you need to do is to sign up uh, and have an account there. They've got a free account and a, um, a pro account. So the difference is just the pro has got so many uh, different extra things that you can use to play around and create different uh, um, projects. And the uh, free one is still fine as well. And uh, the project we are doing today will be based on the free version. So don't worry about that. So what you need to do now is to sign in and then when, once you uh, clicked onto that sign up you'll come to this page sign how you want to sign with uh, these uh, different platforms and then you'll be um, directed to the home page uh, which is uh, this one here this is the home page for um, this uh, create and then this is where the magic happens so here you've got all these different templates that you will choose um, to create your project so here we're gonna uh, be able uh, to create that ebook that I was talking about. So the first thing that we need to do uh, is to obviously choose um, uh, a design. Step two now is to search for the template. So you can go to the search bar here and then uh, search uh, ebook, or you can come here and look for, for ebook and just move around here and look for an ebook. So um, the quickest way I think will just to type ebook there and then enter to get to all the templates uh, that you can choose from. Um, as you can see, we've got all different templates here uh, that we will select from. Uh, this is a tutorial, obviously this is an example, so you can do how you like it, uh, customize how you want it uh, to look. So I'll just choose an uh, easy uh, template here that I can quickly use. Uh, let's see, uh, I'll pick up that one. <coughs> Right, while it's still loading, just to go through uh, quickly with the editor, on the left toolbar here, you've got different tools that you can use. Uh, you can check the templates with that or photos, uh, videos, music, animation, and uh, add some projects. And also you can change the color of the background um, that you have already on the template. You can change it from here. And then you add text uh, uh, with uh, that bit there. And then if you want to add your own photos, you can go to uh, my file and then um, bring your photos in to add on to your template instead of using the photos that are provided by uh, Vista Create. Um, and on the uh, right side here, we've got the pages that are inside your uh, template. As you can see, you've got six uh, pages here. And if you want to add another page, you, there's a section there that says new page, you click on that and then the new page will be added onto the existing one. So this is the, um, the tool that we have, the um, ebook uh, template. So you can change the a few things here and customize it so the first thing i'll just show you you click on uh, that there and then uh, if you want to delete this you can click delete or backspace on your computer or come in and click the trash can there and it will be deleted and then if you want to uh, change the title i uh, will do that uh, how to make your home amazing uh, i'll just uh, change it a little bit and then uh, it depends on the topic obviously that you want even the template you choose uh, will depend on the, uh, the topic and how to make uh, Okay, and then you can put your name there and then if you want you can uh, um, change the photo if you like I'll leave the photo as it I'll show you in the next page let's go to the next page you just click on to the next page on the right side there and then if you want um, change the color here as you can see the sun background is white I'll show you while you're here um, um, just um, go into the page and then you come to the uh, background on the left toolbar and then instead of the photo you can go to colors and then different color palettes will come here so i will choose um, you can create your own color as well let's see uh, this 
white let's see uh, I can I'll just choose this one and then maybe I'll just uh, make it a little bit lighter yeah I'll keep it that way um, and that's it and then that's uh, what you do to uh, change the background. Uh, so the next thing that we, we're going to be doing now is to add content inside the design. So we'll go to the next page and see how that page is. Uh, so what I can do here, <coughs> I will click on that to delete that. And as I showed you before, and you can highlight uh, all these so you can delete them if you want to delete all of them. Um, delete on the keyboard or backspace or just click on the trash can there and then what you need to do now is to go to text on the left toolbar um, and then select a text so we can do that and add text and then put the um, put the, um, the, the the headings of your uh, I'll just say introduction and then you can make sure it fits into your page and then what you can do as well is to go down uh, up there to the uh, font size and then you can drop it down uh, to maybe let's say 96 and then you can bring it up uh, you can put it on the side it's, it's up to you so these purple lines tells you that you are in the middle of the page and then to add uh, now the uh, the content of the page uh, of the ebook. E so you go to another text uh, uh, there and then um, you can uh, reduce the size maybe to 14. Uh, maybe 14 is too small here. Uh, hmm, it's still too small. So let's say 24. And then we will. I don't know why it's very small. Okay, that's better. <laughs> Uh, then we can add the text there. Um, I will just paste the text that I have here. Um, this is, uh, yeah, I'm just putting the text that I have here. There you go. Yeah. So you just need to play around and make sure everything fits in. Otherwise, uh, you can. Um, also cut the text and then add another page as I was saying um, you can add another page by just uh, coming here and then that will add another page as you can see uh, it's here and then we go back to that page and then we can um, um, from here or inside here so we can take that bit there and then we can cut that and then and then we go to the next page and then uh, um, add text and then paste that there. Uh, then we can reduce, um, I think we went to 60 and then we'll just bring it up. Yeah, and that's it. Then you can play around making sure it, it looks nice. And I'm just giving you the, the idea of how to do it. So now you've got uh, uh, that text there uh, that we did before. And then you've got that one. And, and that's it. That's how you add the text. And if you want to change the page, let's say we want this page here to go up um, to page three. So all you need to do is to click on the page and then move it up a bit. And then you can drop it there. You just let go uh, after dragging and then it will be positioned there. And that's all you need to do and you can edit all different pages how you want as i was showing you can uh, do that and delete and then add your name or your brand however you you you, you want it you can just uh, do the same thing uh, and you know just play around make sure it looks um, um, customized to you and then finally um, the next thing that you want to do or if you want to duplicate this page just before we play around let's say for this page and you want to duplicate it is this page here you go to the three dots here and then click on that and then uh, click on to duplicate then we will have these two pages as you can see them there so that's how you duplicate and then that's it guys that's pretty much all that you need to do and then once you're done you can label your uh, your ebook and uh, what do you say how
and that's it. And once you've done that, uh, we download and then um, it will come up and then I will show you how it, it looks. Uh, so with the, uh, the free version of the Vista Create, you are only allowed to create five downloads um, a month. That's all the, uh, or five ebooks rather, five ebooks a month. Uh, you can do other things, uh, but only ebooks you can uh, do five a month. That's all you can do. But obviously, if you've got a provision, then you can uh, uh, have unlimited downloads that you want or ebooks that you want to do if um, that's what you are doing. I hope uh, you can check the the um, the uh, provision as well and see what you like about it, and maybe you want to give it a try. Uh, but otherwise, um, I hope you've enjoyed this and uh, if you have please give it thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit that uh, notification bell so that I can uh, make sure you get notified um, when a new video uh, comes in. Uh, I'm just waiting for that download. Let's see where is it. Oh yeah. Okay. I didn't press download. There you go. So once you press download then you've got the option to do a uh, um, PDF um, standard or PDF uh, print. So usually PDF print is the high quality one uh, if you people are going to be uh, printing uh, your ebook uh, so many times. Uh, but just PDF standard is, uh, is just fine if someone is just doing it once or you're just going to be uh, opening it online. So that's how you do it uh, and then they'll give you that option. Um, okay, now we got our download here and this is the the ebook that we created how to start a blog i'll just bring it down a little bit so you can see yeah as you can see we didn't change anything on that uh, on the front page on the cover so and then we've um, added some new text there and there's the introduction that we added there and then we moved that page up to the top there and then we change the color there um, yeah and there's the content in there and that's it so that's how the ebook will look once you've done it so obviously this is an example so you can create it any way that will it make it look really, really nice to what you're talking about okay guys um thanks for being here and uh, i'll catch you in the next one you take care bye